you die. And you're suddenly with really no break in continuity. Your consciousness goes right on. It, it, it came in to your body in an electrical body that we could call a soul. It leaves the body and scientists have weighed the body as someone died and discovered it's, what is it, Jim, is it five tenths of an ounce? It's a little less than half an ounce is, is the actual mass of us, of who we are. And we leave. We leave the body when it can no longer breathe because we can't use it anymore. So we leave in this body that we came in we're fine but it's time for us to be someplace else and we are in a place well first of all we have to heal so if we if we want to see Jesus we'll see Jesus if you want to see our loved ones we'll see our loved ones we'll see who you want to see we'll heal up from our incarnation if it's been a hard one it'll take a little time to heal and when we've healed then we get set on these steps of light and every step is a little denser of light than the next. And we start walking these steps, and they're very well guarded. And we keep going up the steps, lighter and lighter, brighter and brighter, until we stop at the one where if we go one more, it's too much. It's too hot. It's, it's, it's like being without a hat on a hot day. And we don't want that. So we just don't we don't ascend to the next step well after we've chosen we are told all right you have walked into fourth density you've graduated or you are still in third density you still haven't made your choice so you're gonna have to to repeat this grade I'm sorry but You'll go to another planet that's, that's doing third density work, and you'll do another series of 76,000 years or so of however long that planet's third density is. And you'll have more, some more time. If you need more time to make this choice, okay, there you go, more time. And that's, that's as bad as it gets. And it's such a relief to know there's no hell you know, Lenin said, no hell beneath us, yeah. no heaven above. But there is a heaven above. There, are, There is one heaven after another. The next heaven that we go to is the first heaven where our bodies are not as physical. They're made of light, and we have more uh, ability to, to, to do things with them, yeah. to look like we want to look and sure. so forth. And it's the love density. It's the density of love. Fourth density. Fifth density is the density of wisdom. And we learn lessons of wisdom then. Love comes first. Then comes wisdom. Then in sixth density is the density of unity. Where love and wisdom are unified. And they come together. So that there's compassionate understanding. Wisdom meets love. And there is no true wisdom without true love. And all of the all of the paradoxes are resolved and there is no more light and dark and everything is is unity. And we're and we're on our way back to the Creator. Seventh density is the density before we finally come back to the Creator for, for good. And it's called the density of forgetting because we basically turn our backs on what's happened before and we're ready, we're ready for that final movement into the Creator. So it's Alpha to Omega. We come from timelessness into first density. We experience life as... Uh, elements, then we experience life as animals and plants, then we experience life as souls of third density, souls of fourth, souls of fifth, souls of sixth density. And then by the time we get to be souls of seventh density, there's nothing physical left. But we are light. 
and we uh, move into timelessness and then another creation begins yeah. in that infinite train of foreverness and the creator that is the cosmology of the rod group and that is how we graduate 